Hudson, over there. Something's moving around. Get down. <laughs> he hasn't seen us. The bar next door definitely has some alcohol, but this guy's blocking our path. It's just one. Come on. Nah, <sighs> too risky. We're leaving. Zoe nods and follows me out. We head back to base. Freeze, suckers. Shit, I almost split your freaking head open. Sergeant, lower your weapon. <laughs> Relax, boss. I'm just checking if you're still human. So, how'd your little date go? You guys got anything good out there? We found some ammunition and some rations. And we found some cookies. You want a bite? Holy shit, dude. I haven't had a cookie in like three days. Mm -hmm. We found them in a vending machine. We also found a bunch of booze, but Hudson wanted to skip out on that. <laughs> what? Now, why would our captain do such a stupid thing like that, hmm? It was a high-risk situation, Sergeant. One zombie. It was... Oh, you... And one Z could lead to more. These aren't just zombies on the station. We don't know what we're dealing with here. Look, I didn't think the alcohol was worth it. Understood? Well, that's like... Your opinion, man. You can use booze to start fires and shit. Not to mention cleaning or maintaining guns. Or like for drinking. Stress relief. Fucking A, man. I could go for some stress relief right about now. You have a point. We'll head back for it. Tomorrow. Alright, that's what this booze hound needed to hear. I glare at her. I mean, to clean guns and shit, yeah. Let's get inside. Wait up, Hudson. How about we split these cookies three ways? Hey, you trying to hold out on your mates? Yeah, we could have a little cookie party. It could be our secret. That wouldn't be fair, Zoe. Yeah, Z, that's kinda messed up. Alright, forget I said anything about free cookies. I'm sorry, Zoe. It's a matter of principle. Let's head back. Bye, Elle. Zoe pats Larissa on the arm. <sighs> yeah, see ya. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's nothing I can't shake off. <laughs> Larissa looks to the side with a wince and looks directly back at Zoe, wide-eyed. Now get out of my face, will ya? We leave her. Miss Wesson. <laughs> yeah, Hudson? Would you mind not calling me that? I'm trying to gain some respect around here. I know I haven't been captain for very long, so it would help if you respected my authority by calling me captain. Whatever you say, Hudson. You know what? Forget I said anything. I'm not going to press the issue here. Why well, doesn't matter what they call you. It's the end of the world. Yeah, but we're in space. Our homer was fine. The end of the space station, then, jerkwad. I wouldn't worry about what people call me. We're gonna be here for a while with these guys. I know you don't trust them. I don't, because they're all crazy, Huds. Well, crazy may just be what we need right now. Why, howdy, y'all. How's the station looking? Now, what's in today's haul? Just some ammo and nothing for you. Zoe walks past Stella and into the base. If you'll excuse me, Miss Howard. Yuppers, peppers. Come see me again. I'm just a holler away. I sidestep past Stella without touching her. Zoe. Zoe sees me and smiles. Hmm. Catch you later, Hudson. She leaves. Hudson? <sighs> Miss Howard, please. All right. Captain Hudson better. What is it this time, eh? Um, Miss Olga, how many gigajoules did you want for the N7 socket? Ugh, student Elaine, cannot remember how much voltage? I has to reminding you again. Sorry, Miss Olga. If you no get and get right, we will lose all power and then we did. You no remember, then write it down. Ugh. Maybe you should go easy on her, Olga. Yeah! It's a lot easier to remember everything when half of your brain is a computer! Ho <laughs> ho You wishing you were a metalhead like moi. Poor student Elaine cannot afford in such pleasure trees. Doctor... Oh keys, oh keys. A mad scientist, I'm not a babysitter. So, what have you girls been working on? It's an automated escort machine. It took some damage, and we're in the middle of a lot of technical repairs. Miss Olga and I hope to repurpose her to so she fires guns and goes into patrol mode. Good work. Keep me informed. You got it, sir. I'll leave you to it. Captain, 
How nice of you to drop by. The pleasure is mutual, Doctor. Has Larissa come in to see you? Yes, she had a skin transplant earlier this morning. She should be sore for a few days. Mm-hmm. She failed to mention that. I would advise you to let her rest, but... She's a fighter. If all she wants to do is fight, then why should I stand in her way? Then I'll be ready. There's always going to be a bed here with her name on it. That'll be all, Doctor. Sir, you have yet to fill out today's roster assignment. Right. I was out there with Miss Wesson. Yes, and I was attempting to bring this to your attention at around 0600 hours, but I failed to locate you, sir. I have assigned our crew to temporary workstations in your absence. You may consider it as a drill. I was testing your ability to handle the situation without a superior officer. Aye, sir. Let's take a look here. You'll need to assign our crew members to various tasks. How's the enemy forecast for tonight's watch? Intel reports to expect only minor resistance throughout the night. Our regulars are well equipped to handle the situation. And we expect no difficulties. Then it's a good time to get the rest of the crew's feet wet. Let's get the medical officer to shoot for once. And the chef, and the mad scientist, and now just one good shooter. May I suggest Sergeant Pavlichenko? No, I talked to the doctor earlier. The sergeant's still recovering. Need someone to watch over the rookies? I'll take care of it. Yes, thank you, Betty. Yeah, sure. Miss Aaron is certainly a qualified combatant, sir. Done. I hand her the folder back. Have you decided on our next destination, sir? We have a new sonic... Uh, device to account for. Sonic device? Ho ho! Is someone needing mind consultation on Sonic Emitter? I'm here to help you. We are here, and the blue box represents the area we control. Yes. The Sonic Emitter allows our crew to walk around willy-nilly within the confines of the Sonic Emitting range. That is what blue dot representing you. The smaller blue dots are many sonic emitters that we are using to plan our next migration. The emissions will propagate and the surrounding enemy's sticky wax will melt away. Would you please explain this more... better? Can we get Elaine to explain this for me? Oh no no, it's so simple. You're choosing desiring location on the map, then you click the here, then you click the da, and then open the radial menu and enter in the detection frequency value that you can find in the workbook here. But must filling out few empty cell functions that I forgot about, carrying the 001100. Uh, I'll just ask you to do that when the time comes, Doctor. Of course, the Captain. I'm always here to assist in you. Just remember it Olga is being least expendable crew member. We must designate our next destination, sir. How about we spice things up a little? I believe our head chef is referring to condiments, sir. Yeah, if we head to the food court, there's gonna be a lot of little packets for us. We could really use some ketchup and barbecue sauce and sugar. Like, really, really use it. For what? So that the zombie meat tastes better? And that less people blame my cooking? The crew has submitted numerous complaints. And there have been many incidents of vomiting, sir. So your professional culinary advice is to find ketchup packets. But Captain, what about the bikinis? Nonsense, sir. Pay her no mind. Bikinis? You see, we're stranded out here in the deep space county with a bunch of dust biters. To get out of Dodge, we need to buy a rescue ship. Now, we're making decent money with our reality zombie television show. I reckon if we start dressing up in bikinis while killing zombies, we'd be the talk of the galaxy. Uh -huh. All the folks would be paying to see Miss Stella Howard shooting zombies in bikinis. Thursday nights at 8 galactic time. Sir, I concur with the head chef. We should concentrate on raising meal palatability. Actually, I find Ms. Howard's bikini plan to be very strategically sound. The bigger our TV audience is, the faster we'll get home. May I remind you, sir, that bikini garments are strictly prohibited by dress code policy. Dress code policy? Yes, sir. There are policies we must observe to maintain order on the station. Uh, you know, I'd totally be fine with wearing a bikini. Show some skills! Shall I set course for the food court, sir? Hmm, taste your zombie meat or bikinis.
Target sighted, dead on arrival. Let's shoot things up a notch. Dispatch copies radiation to bring in the police. 